Hi first graders! We're going to get started on another new project today and we are going to be learning about shapes which you all are very familiar with and we're also going to be learning about value. Both of those are elements of design which are um, things that we use when we make any type of art. So you are familiar with shapes like circles, squares, rectangles, triangles, diamonds, hearts, all sorts of shapes. We are going to be using a lot of circle shapes, different sizes of circles, half circles, um, but all circles for this project. And then we're going to add value to the project by adding shading to things. So we're going to make a polar bear and we're going to shade like around the face or add darkness around the face to make it look more realistic. I will do a demonstration to show you how to do the drawing part in just a second. Okay, so for the purpose of this video, <clears throat> I have my paper in the horizontal direction, so side to side. It would probably be best if you all would make yours vertical, so in the up and down direction. Um, so what you are going to do to start your polar bear is make a great big circle. And I know for some projects, I'm not sure if I've done it for first grade, but for some projects I have kids trace circles. So they're really nice, perfect circles. I actually think it looks a little bit better on this project if we don't do that. So I just want you to draw it by hand and you want a great big circle. It doesn't quite go to the top of your page and you have some space left down at the bottom of your page. So it looks something like that. And again, draw lightly because we all make mistakes. Okay, so you have your circle. Now inside that circle, <clears throat> kind of right in the middle of it, you're going to draw another circle and this one's going to be, oh, I'd say in between the size of a golf ball and a tennis ball. And then within that circle, you're going to make another circle. Okay, so you have one, two, three. Okay, now up here, you're going to make a half circle and a half circle. So this, is going to end up being your eyes. This is going to be your nose. And then up here, half circle, half circle. And inside of that, half circle, half circle. I told you we were going to be working a lot with circles and half circles today. All right, so this is our bear's head. Um, the next thing is to make the bear's body and that is going to be like another half circle, but it's kind of going to be a little bit more like an upside down U. So it goes above the head, down, 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 almost to the bottom of the paper. And the same thing the other way, down, 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 almost to the bottom of the paper again. Okay, now in the middle here, down at the bottom, I'm going to make another half circle like that. And then I am going to make my bear's feet by using another half circle. So like that, and erase the extra, and like this. and erase the extra. So now it looks like that, okay? Oops, except I erased the wrong part. Now polar bears have toes or like paws. So I'm just gonna put some little lines in there to show that it has the paws or the toes. Okay, and 
We need a horizon line. So where our bear is standing. So now it looks like it's kind of standing on snow. Now right now, it sort of looks like a polar bear and it sort of doesn't look like a polar bear. It will really start to look more like one once we um, start adding the value into the project next time. So I'm kind of just looking at mine right now. I kind of want to make mine a little bit wider just because I think it looks like it needs to be. But you do what works for you, okay? So this is what we're working on for today. Once you're done with this part, you can Sharpie. Um, I am going to say not to Sharpie in the areas that are going to be black. Leave these, like you can just leave the pencil lines in there. So you will Sharpie like the eye, the nose, and the ear, the outline of it. You're just not going to color it in with the Sharpie. Okay, if you have any questions, please let me know.